Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a drawing from an exploded view and generate a bill of material inside the drawing. So for this video, I'm going to use the same assembly file that we used in the last two previous video, okay? Which is in the assembly video and also in the exploded animation video, okay? So as you can see on my desktop, I have this part one, part two, and part three, okay? Which is the single part, and I have the assembly file over here. And I also have this A4 NC landscape, which is the blank template. Okay, so this is the template that we are going to use to generate the 2D drawing for this assembly file. So, uh, first of all, okay, let's open this assembly file. Now, from this assembly, okay, so let's generate a very simple exploded view. Okay, so all you have to do is just click on this exploded view and select this top part and drag along whatever axis that you want. Okay, so I would prefer the Y axis. Okay, so just drag over here, just like that. So uh, make sure you have a clear vision for this part and also the other part. Okay, so uh, just right click to confirm your exploded and continue with the next one. Okay, just like that. Now, uh, when it comes to assembly or mid that involve concentrate, okay, the one that share same center for the circular part, okay, for example, this one over here, okay, uh, it is best and recommended if we keep them in the concentric mid. Okay? So for example, this mid, okay, I'm going to drag this part along the x-axis. Okay? So make sure you have a clear vision for the other parts. Um, you see that I still keep them sharing the center, right? Okay? So all I did is just separate them in the x-direction, in the x-axis. Okay? And just right click over here and same goes for this one. Okay? So click over here and drag along the x-axis. Okay, so make sure you have a clear vision and just right click and there you go. Okay, uh, it is important okay, to keep the concentric okay, so that we can add the exploded line for the concentric mate. Okay, so in order to add the exploded line, okay, just click here. Okay, so in order to uh, add the exploded line, okay, so click over this exploded view. Okay, we have this you know small arrow over here and select explode line sketch. Okay, so all you have to do is just select two circular part. Okay, for example, this one and this one. Okay, and right click and there you go. Okay, so you will have your uh, explode line. Okay, so and then we have the other one. Okay, so just select this one and this one and right click. So there you go. Right. Uh, having this line actually provide more understandings on others to read your drawing. Okay. Uh, right. Okay, so actually. Uh, okay, let's click okay, over here. Now, um, we have completed the exploded view, okay? So, let's produce a drawing from this assembly, this exploded view, okay? So, all you have to do is just save this right? Okay, and close it. Right, for now, I'm going to open this A4NC landscape blank template. Okay, so now I have this A4NC landscape with this custom title block over here. Right, uh, now, select model view. Okay, in order to, to import the drawing, okay, just select this model view and browse. Okay, select this assembly that uh, we did just now. Okay, click open. And first of all, select okay, this isometric view over here. Okay, so click on this isometric and place your drawing over here. Okay, so uh, you can select uh, you know this display style okay, to whatever uh, you know display style that you want. Okay, I'm going to keep this one. Okay, hidden lines removed. Okay, and I'm going to use a custom scale, for example, you know, okay, uh, just, you know, user define, uh, maybe 1, 3, 2, 3, uh, I think 1, 3 is good, okay, right, 1, 3, okay, okay, so you can, you know, you can select any display or change the scale just like what we have learned previously, okay, so just click OK over here, right, now, Okay, so now, um, if you notice over here, we have the lines, okay? So, uh, this is basically the explode line that we generate, okay, in the assembly file, okay? The one uh, related with the concentric mate, okay? So, this line is very important as it indicates which part is made through the circular or the whole part, okay? So, uh, now, we are going to generate a bill of material, okay? So, a bill of material, or known as BOM, B-O-M, it's a comprehensive, uh, you know, inventory of the raw materials, assembly, sub-assembly, parts and components, as well as the quantities for of each, okay, uh, needed to manufacture or to, you know, to complete the product, okay. In a nutshell, it is a complete list of the components, item that are required to build a product, okay. 
So uh, the bin of material can be generated automatically. Okay, just click OK over here. By select this annotation and click on this table. Okay, so click on this table and select bill of material. Okay, so uh, make sure that the table template is boom standard over here. Okay, right. So uh, you know, click OK over here, and you will see that you will have your bill of material generated inside your drawing. Okay, so place this table on the top right corner. Okay, just like that. Okay, click over here. Okay, now you have your bill of material. Okay, so uh, we do not need this description. Okay, so we can just delete this part. Okay, so all you have to do is just uh, make sure you have this uh, arrow downward. Okay, and uh, click over here. Right click and select delete column. Okay, so now you can delete the description. Okay, so just place this one right here. Okay, just like that. Okay, right. So uh, inside this bill of material, okay, as you can see, we have the item number, we have the part number, and also the quantity. Okay, so this part number, the name, is generated automatically based on the name of the part that we save. Okay, so that's why I have part one, part two, part three. Okay, because on my desktop, okay, I have part one, part two, and part three. Right. Uh, okay, so uh, the boom also automatically generate each quantity for the parts. Okay. So for example, this part one, okay, I have two quantities, okay, which is this one and also this one. Part two, this one, okay, so I have this part two, one quantity and the other quantity over here, okay, right. Uh, you know, if you wish to uh, rename this part name, okay, uh, all you have to do is just double click, okay, and select break link, okay, and now you can rename to whatever name that you prefer, but I suggest just keep them as the default format, okay. So the last step is to add the balloon. Okay, so the balloons label the parts in the assembly and relate them uh, to the item number on the bill of material, which is this one. Okay, item number one, two, and three. Okay, so all you have to do is just select auto balloon and click on this drawing over here. Okay, and there you go. You have your balloon. Okay, which is one part, part one, part two, and also part three. Okay, so uh, on the left side we have uh, several parameters that you can customize. Okay, which is uh, for example, we have this pattern type, okay, so you can select uh, any style that you want, okay. And uh, you can also untick this option, okay, if you want multiple instances for the same part number, okay. So, you can see I have one, two, three, if I untick this one, okay. So, I have multiple instances for the same uh, part number, okay. So, for example, this two over here, I have this two over here, okay. So, you can untick or tick, okay, depends on your preference, okay. But, so, um... You can also change the placement of the leader attachment, okay? So either you want on the face or on the edge of the entities, okay? Right. And I think that's all, okay? Now we are done, okay? So I'm going to keep this one, okay? Just like that, okay? So just click OK and there you go, right? So you can, you know, you can rearrange this uh, balloon, okay? To, okay, just like that, okay? Right. Uh, you know, to rearrange this balloon if you want, okay, make it more neat, okay, right, okay, so, uh, I think that's it, okay, so now you have already completed the exploded and also the of material in drawing SOLIDWORKS, okay, so, uh, thank you very much and hope to see you again.